Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon Another Story. I'm Robosako, and in the last, last episode, blah, 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 we defeated Rubius, who was keeping us from getting to the Ark. We need the Ark to travel to our next destination, so let's just do that. Um, I've also changed the party members. I brought uh, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn with me because Uranus and Neptune desperately need leveling. And since the monsters at the North Pole, which is where we're headed next, give a ton of experience, this should come handy. This place looks like the Ark's control room, but there doesn't seem to be any controls. How do we pilot it? Now, if you have Venus in your party, she would explain how the Ark works. But since she's not here, Luna will be the one explaining everything. Ah, this one. Holy crap! Earthquake! No, not really. Alright. Uh, so here I have a bit of an overworld map sort of thing going here. Uh, you don't get to do this for much longer though. So, uh, from here you can travel to the other, other places that you visited before with the other Sailor Scouts. The Kindness here in Switzerland with uh, Mercury. And, uh, where is it? Here is Yaga, where Mars was. Medias is here in Canada, all the way over here. But where we need to go is up to the North Pole, over here. So let's just land here and... This is some strange music we have going on here. Alright, let's start heading this way, and uh, let's introduce the new enemies. First of all though, um, I have to warn you guys, the enemies here are pretty tough, so do be prepared. Um, I'm just going to have all the rest of the Sailor Scouts defend and have Saturn do all the work because I am trying to level Uranus and Neptune, and if I don't have them defend, chances are they'll probably die instantly. Well, I know Uranus will. Neptune, not so much because she's at the back. But the whole point is to not let them die because I need them to have the experience. So, we'll just carry on like this for a while. Here we have the Snow Dancers. There's another type of enemy here in the North Pole that I'll show you guys later. That should do it. Yep. Excellent. Alright. Okay, um, here in the North Pole there's also quite a few treasures lying around, so you need... you want to make sure to pick up, uh, most of them. Oh, and here we go, here's the other enemy. Tu Yu Tahime. These guys you have to be a bit more careful with because they can cast illusion, which will cause selfishness. And... If they do that to Saturn, I'm pretty much screwed for the battle, and I will just try to run away. <laughs> just don't get Saturn and we're all good. Alright, who cares about Chibi Moon? She's fine. Ow! Wow, you jerk! Oh dear, Chibi Moon's gonna die. That's alright. Awesome. Okay, let's just hurry up and bring her back to life. Oh, she's already back to life. Alright. Um, but I do need to heal her. One thing bad about this game is, though, that you can't use, um... You can't use your skills outside of battle, so I can't use Moon's healing escalation on Chibi Moon if I'm not in the battle. Which kind of sucks, but... Makes sense, because your EP gets refilled before the battle begins anyway, so it would be kind of cheap. Why do I have this candy? It heals 5 HP, that's like... nothing. Alright, uh, I think we should be good, yep. Alright. Now, I'm gonna head over here. And... more battles. Alright, if you head over to the side here... Whoa, okay. You'll find some bath medicine. Keep heading down. 
And you'll find some confetti candy. That stuff raises your attack power. I think it has a permanent effect, so super handy. And if you go down this way... Damn it! You'll get these amber... Oh no, I thought they were amber earrings. They're, it's an amber tiara. That's obviously for Uranus. Uranus wears an amber tiara. Isn't that a pretty picture? Alright. Um, Alright, let's keep looking for these items. More enemies, of course. Uh, where are they? Huh. Oh, there we go, there's one. Okay, and here we have a bento set. What else is there around this area? If we go down here... Uh, I think... Is that it? Alright, I guess that's it. Alright, um, let's head up to the top. Gotta make our way up to a very special place. Actually, I think the entrance is over here, isn't it? Yes. Let's head up here. Okay. Before you go any further, you want to come over here and grab a fragrance. Now, uh, I'm just going to save here. Holy crap! This is the castle of the great sage, Beryl Zema. Oh, come on! We got this far! Please let us in! No! I cannot let in those whom I do not know. Tightwad! What do we do? We can't get inside. Use your disguise, Pen Sailor Moon. Turn me into a beautiful servant! You look exactly the same. That's one thing I never got about Sailor Moon. I think I mentioned this before, but like... Only their clothes change, not their faces or anything. Like, Tuxedo Mask, maybe he can get away because he's wearing a mask. But it's not like they have, you know, heavy makeup or anything. Ooh, what is this? Hee <laughs> hee, throb up. Uh, we got two really big perverts here. Uh huh huh huh. Crete. Alright, here we are inside the castle. Clean up quickly. Quick, clean up. You guys. Suck. Anyway. Alright, let's explore the place. We're in the Great Barrel's palace. What do you have to say? Talk to me! Beryl Selma looks odd somehow. Doesn't she always look odd? I'm worried for Beryl Selma. Um, I think at this point she hasn't gone bad yet, I guess. That's, that's what... Yeah. Yeah, at this point she's still considered a good person. But that changes very soon. Oh, she should be through those doors as indicated by the fancy red curtains. Or just red lines, really. So we won't go through there just yet. Let's make our way over here. And what do we have here? Nothing. I'm pretty sure all these rooms are empty. As far as I know. Let's just go up here. And what do you have here? Oh, holy water. You guys all say the same thing, don't you? This is some strange music. Kind of like elegant but creepy in a way. Ooh, what are you guys talking about? I want to talk to you guys too. I'm a servant. Whisper, whisper. We pity Barrelsama so much. It said that enemy on is already in love with the Moon Princess. That's what they're talking about. Did you hear? Barrelsama is in love with Enemion. Whisper, whisper. Barrelsama is in such a tight. Uh, is in such a painful position. How can she bear to look at that couple with a smiling face? That cut off really weirdly. Anyway. Uh, who are you? Hopefully nothing bad happens. Won't lose to anyone. She has a lot of spirit. We aren't worried for her. But we are worried for the people of the moon. So what is that supposed to mean exactly? Oh, I can't go back there. Because we all know that what happens later on with the Moon Kingdom. We get thrashed, pretty much. 
It sounded like a threat. Or maybe he was being honest and just be like, Yeah, we don't know what Beryl's up to. Something might happen. Hint, hint. Fragrance. Awesome. There's nothing there. <gasps> Treasure chests! I want them! Give them to me. She looks like a mermaid. Ariel. Endymion Summer. Oh, this is awkward. Caught her at a... Despair moment! Ha! They're not even led away by the evil power of that comet. So, how many of these people don't want to become mine? Who's there? This is very brave of you, Sailor Moon. To just walk into Beryl's chamber like that. Evil powers from the comets? Meteor shower will fall. Um, I think I read somewhere that meteor showers are supposed to be bad omens in terms of um, Japanese mythology or something like that. Yeah, an, an unlucky sign. Your thoughts are so fragmented. told Beryl not to give up on love when you're the one who snatches Endymion away from her. White rose and fill on this cake. Alright, I think that's all there is to it here, so uh, next time we explore more of the North Pole. We head over to another place, uh, which is where Endymion is, I guess. So he's not really there, I don't think. He's probably off with the princess. But anyway, we'll visit his kingdom. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.